Hello guys and guys, it's the guard I here, and today I'm going to show you how I found a loophole in Google Plus's naming system, which allowed me to change my name more than three times. Hey, do you want a good quality Minecraft server to play on with your friends? Well, if you go to themchost.com, you can get one for $3. You can also get an additional 10% off by using the coupon code THEGUARDIE at checkout. I got mine, so you guys should get yours before they run out. So as many of you know, uh, Google+, Plus, when you link it with your YouTube channel, and you link it with your page and everything like that, you can actually rename your channel and change your name. So um, I was really excited by this, and I actually did that quite a lot. Now, the problem was... I did it before they put in a warning system, so I had no idea, but if you changed it more than three times, and this still happens, if you change it more than three times, you will not be able to change your name again for two years, and I don't know where I'm going to be in two years, but that is way too long, and I was stuck with this super mega long name that did not fit, and it was just bad. So um, here's my personal backstory, I, had, I had, um, emailed Google support. And I asked them if I could change it. They replied me and said, no, there's no way for you to do that. We limit our naming system um, three changes per two years. Now, for me, that's crazy and completely... Um, com that's just not even... That that's that will not work. So um, I was stuck with like that long name. I did not want it. So after I'd done some Google searching, I wasn't really actively pursuing that because it wasn't that big of a deal. But I did want to fix it and... Um, just yesterday, I came up with a way to fix it. Now, um, I'd done a lot of searching and there was nothing on this topic, so I really wanted to make this video to help out anyone who's having the same problem because I know I searched so much and there was nothing that I hope I can make this video as helpful to you guys as it can be. Now, for this to work, um, you're going to need to be linked to a Google Plus page. If, you, if you're linked to a Google Plus profile, I'm afraid this will not work for you. Um, but seeing as many people like to uh, preserve their channel name instead of using their real name, most of you guys are going to be on Google Plus pages, so I'll be able to help out the majority of you with this tutorial. But um, that's what I was doing. I was linked with a Google Plus play page, and I was not able to change my name anymore. So what I did is I went up. Oh, um, first of all, I went to my Google Plus page. If you can't find your Google Plus page, um, it should be somewhere linked. And the way you can find that is if you go up here, um, click on your name, and then go to um, go to Managers. Now if you click Managers, it'll take you exactly to the tab we want to be in. And um, this is good because this is exactly where we want to be. Now for this to work, you need to create a separate email. And this is where it comes into play if you want to change your age on YouTube. Um, I know there was a lot of people who wanted to do that in the past because they had put in an invalid name or if you wanted to actually bypass that. Um, but if you want to do that, you basically create a new account, and we're going to need to do this anyways if we want to change our name. So basically what you want to do is go up here, click your name, whatever, add account, right? If you click add account, and then you say create an account, now you basically fill in all this stuff, you create your account, right? And then you uh, make sure you change it. Um, it doesn't have to be anything in particular, as long as it's a different email account, whatever. Um, you fill it in, you create your password, that's not going to match, oh well. Um, yeah. Um, but you fill it in and then you change your, your birth date if you wanted to do that instead of change your name, which this tutorial will work, will work, eh, will work for both. And then you go ahead, you create that account, then what you got to do is you got to actually log into that. You log in here, you actually um, click your name up here, and then you click add it, so you want to add that account. Make sure you're logged into the account you're actually the owner of the page with. So I'm logged in that, now you can see this button right here. Now if you add um, the email we just made, if you add that email to a manager, um, say, uh, I forgot what the email was, I didn't even create it, but um, let's just say that. Ooh, I can't type. Alright, so if you add that as a manager, oh, it's actually a person, I do not want to send that. Um, if you add that person, um, you'll get an email and you can actually click on the link in that email and become a manager. Now it'll show up right here, this is my second account. Um, so once it shows up, you'll have to be a manager for two weeks. So this process isn't, isn't really instantaneous, but it's so, so much better than waiting two years to change your name or, or uh, infinite 
because you, you're not allowed to change your age on YouTube or Google or anything. So it's really helpful. Even if you have to wait two weeks, it's worth it. That's what I did. I wasn't even sure if it would work, but I was trying all sorts of things to change my name. But anyways, you click that after two, after, um, after two weeks, you should be able to click this transfer ownership. And um, once you do that, it'll ask you if you want to confirm. And then once you transfer it, um, that will be the owner. So it'll take your page will take the attributes of the new owner, meaning that it'll take the age of the new email you just set up, and it will also give you three more tries at your name. Now, if you run out of three tries on that, you'll just create another account and yada yada. So once you become an owner, you click that. After two weeks of become, after two weeks of becoming a manager, you're actually able to transfer ownership. Once you click transfer ownership, um, you can go to overview. Um, click on your page, and then once you go here, you can actually click your name, and then change it. So that works. Now um, I'm not making this a sort of loophole video because I really don't feel like Google Plus should patch it. If anything, they should take advice from this video and actually fix this issue. And I understand changing your name three times on a profile, but three times for a Google Plus page for businesses for anything like that, it's just it, it's not right, but anyways, this is a workaround. That's kind of what I did. Hopefully, you guys can figure this out. Um, if I was unclear about anything, make sure to leave a comment. I'd love to help you guys. Anyways, that's just what I did. Hopefully, this helps you guys. And I was so happy when I figured this out. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if this helped you, please leave a like. I know this helped so many of you. And if this video were out here when I was struggling with this, I would be so thankful. So, um, it's the least you could do, just leave a like, and um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.